As mentioned, this video is part of an ongoing series by Premier Autodesk partner Tata Technologies. Follow us at autodesk.cadgeekspeak.com or if you have additional questions, write us at autodesk at tatatechnologies.com. So today I want to show you just a little bit about how to use Inventor Fusion to take Inventor models and create some more freeform type edits that would not be easily possible inside of Inventor itself. So in this case, we have a simple prismatic cube type block with a hole in the top, a couple of holes in the back. So it just has a little bit of a some feature to it so we can go ahead and start working with this. But let's pretend we wanted to make some more organic type shape out of this. We can use the edit form option on that model which will launch Inventor Fusion for us. Now for those that have used Inventor Fusion you've probably learned that you can do things like picking on faces, and doing a press pull on those, you know, so you can adjust sizes and that type of thing. So that's quite common. Uh, you might have also learned that you can move faces. So for example, I could grab this top face right here. And if I right click, we can go to our move option. And you could click and drag on the face to move its location, that type of thing. So similar type option. Let me escape out of that. But what you may not be aware of is the ability to do things like moving an edge. So if I select an individual edge, we want to move that. Notice how we can warp the part and adjust it as easily as moving that edge to a different position. So maybe a half centimeter out and a half centimeter up. Now notice it's keeping this other edge in place. It's not affecting that. So in this case, we're going to get kind of a dished out type appearance. As you can see, as I rotate that around. Now let's cancel that. And let me show you a different selection technique. So if I want to adjust all the top edges at once, maybe add more of a twist to the model. I can use my selection tools here to grab things like neighbors to what I just had selected on that face. I'm going to grab the face loop and let's go ahead and move that. And in this case, we probably want to reorient that triad. So I'll pick the reorient option. And I'm going to pick my Z axis on that and align it with the hole on the top. Now I'll finish the reorient. And in this case, now maybe we can go ahead and select a rotation. Instead of just moving it, we're going to rotate all those edges. And as I click and drag out further on my screen here, you can start to see some of the effect that's going to have. So let's rotate that to about 30 degrees. And we'll just accept that. So as you can see, we're getting some shapes here that in Inventor would take some pretty heavy setup using a loft command to be able to accomplish. And from that point forward, maybe we could also, if we want to add kind of a funnel to the top of this, let's grab that face loop again, do a simple move. Let's take a look at our orientation here and let's just drag those out a little bit maybe about a half centimeter in that Z direction so now we've got that funnel type shape to that object with the twist to it and uh, something very quick and easy to do in fusion that would be a, at best, a tedious task inside of the native inventor environment itself. Thanks for joining us today on the Tata Technologies CAD Geek blog.